What's good, people? Said Mac here. Music Tech Works, and tonight just gonna kind of vibe out tonight, and uh, I'll just make some beats. I'll uh, use some of the IK Multimedia sounds and some of their plugins as well, and maybe just a little bit of everything. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Uh, so tonight I'm gonna be using the MPC Key 61 as the controller. Cause I'm gonna use my MPC X. All right, now what I was gonna do was get the, I got another keyboard. I can actually use the uh, Mini Freak as a controller. And I also have the Jupiter XM over here that I'll be showcasing in a later video. And uh, right now we're just gonna just vibe out a little bit and just see what we come up with. And uh, what I did, I took all of Bolo's drums and just made programs out of them. All right, so. It's really easy to do. You just open up the folder. You just get a blank program and then you just drag the folders on the on the pads. And then from there, you just right click and save the kit and save it to the location. I saved it on my computer and uh, on my SSD drive inside of the uh, MPC and the also inside of the uh, MPC K61 into that SSD drive. So let's just see here. Uh, I don't know what I'm feeling yet. I know once I open up something, but let's uh, let's go ahead and roll. So I'm just gonna start off with just a little, just something just to get a little feeling with, and I'm just gonna start off with a clap. So MPC is one of the easiest products that you can make a beat on. You know, it's really simple. Right, so what I'm doing, I'm gonna set my uh, loop to. Let's just go start off with. Um, four bars. Actually, I'm going to do double time. So let's do eight bars and then we'll double it up later. All right, so I already got that set up there and I'm just going to lay that down. Being that I'm in double time, um, I'm going to quantize at eighth notes right now, starting off. I'm gonna set my BPM to 134, as you can see right here, what I just did. So, just gonna do that. All right, so this go on, and I'll just bring the screen in so you can see. The loop. All right, that sound. All right, so I'm just going to use that right now just to build around. And let's go to two. Let's use, uh, let's go to plug in. Let's see what we got here. A little bit of everything. I just got a nice package for a uh, shout out to RK Multimedia. Let's go there and see. Let's open up a uh, sample tank. And where are you? There. All right, so sample tank is a great alternative to, or, you know, a great tag team with Native Instruments uh, contact is very similar. It is probably one of the most popular uh, sample instruments. And I just uploaded and added some more sounds. So what it's doing is creating a database. All right, and let's load up the instrument. Let's see, so over here you have your Library, it's just like a contact library, just like contact would have a library. And I think I got a couple more to go. Let's see. 
I need to download. Okay, so we just roll with these. So let's just pick something here. I'm just gonna come up with a melody. Okay, so now I got sample take open. And let's go to the uh, Synthtronics library. And let's see. There's so many of them here. Let's do something like that. I think I do want to speed it up a little bit. Let's try 138. Double click it the whole thing. 38. 100. Let's roll with that sound. Let's turn it down a little bit. So with this plugin here, you can adjust the effects, um, everything with it. And what I wanna do is just go ahead and record that part. So here go your effects right here. And what I do, I take some of the reverb off. All right, let's let's also speed this up some. I don't want to drag it, make it too draggy. Uh, 145, yeah. Why not 150? All right, which is more like 75 in real life, you know. All right, let's do that. Let's try something like that.
Now that, that piano does sound pretty rich. And that was uh, one of the sounds from uh, IK Multimedia. Actually a very rich piano. Let's pull it back up and take a look at it. Oh yeah. Natural, yeah. So if I cycle through these pianos, you can kind of hear the difference in the quality of them. So, I mean, honestly, it's really kind of hard to choose, but I think uh, we'll go for the, the softer sound, kind of make it lo-fi-ish. Uh, I'll throw something on this sound right here to even dirty it up even a little bit more. So, with the IK Multimedia product, so the sample tank, you have a effects chain here where you can add uh, different, uh, of course, different types of effects, EQs, compressors. Uh, distortion and things like that but uh yeah for now I like how this sound but you know we'll play around with it later but yeah you can actually see it here uh, all the options that you have here's the actual how you can edit the sound you got the attack delay um, release sustain you go to this window here this is your effects window So let's keep that. All right, and let's go to uh, we'll call that PF1, a soft piano. All right, now what I do, I go ahead and just double the length. On the NPC, you select the actual sequence. So now we have 16 bars, which is really eight. We're just in double time, so you just do everything twice. So let's go to track four. All right. And how about one more sound from, you know what? Let's go to the rolling cloud here and let's pull up rolling cloud. So many options here. Sometimes less is better, but it's nice to have options when you do, especially when you do different types of music, everything is not always an R&B trap uh, track. Everything is not always a trap beat. Everything is not always a dance pop, you know, just having a plethora of options it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's really your advantage. And I do have the Mini Freak, Mini Freak plug-in here as well as the uh, hardware situation over here. But we'll come back to that. Let's go to, Xenology again. All right, select, new program. So we have our chord progression basically. And now let's uh, maybe come up with a little melody in between. Okay, so. And off the rip, we have this sound here. Let's just cycle through some of the sounds and see what we hear. These are all basses.
Uh, let's stick with that for now. Bring it down a little bit in the mix. <laughs> So I choose a uh, kick that doesn't have a lot of too much bass in it. That one right there. So when you use the no repeat button, it'll actually change your quantized value. So what I did, I switched it back to eighth notes. So we're starting to build here and this is add uh, another couple of elements and then we'll uh, basically be done. So let's go we're already on plugins as well. Let's change it to plugins. And then let's go to uh, here. Let's go to our friend contact. I want to add like some percussion stuff with uh, this uh, library here inside of contact. I like the way it sounds. It's, it's kind of, it's like the old school type uh, drum machine kind of gives you that feel, but I want to use my little percussion elements and it is called, I bet you I pass it. Mm. Empire breaks. Okay, so I'll just load it up and just kind of cycle through the kits.
how that sounds. Sounds real dirty, right? Now I could duplicate this track, open it the same plugin on another one, and erase the notes and kind of separate them. You can also run the outputs out of their own output channel, and there's your separation. I did that on the other song. I'm gonna make a video about that one. But um, let's go ahead and go to the next one here. And with this one, I want to create a key group. All right, so I'll show you real quick how I created the um, key group real quick. Okay, so I'm on a unused track. I got program selected here. Okay, and then from there, I go to menu, then edit program. Once you go to program edit, you just hit the plus button. Okay, and then you find whatever sample you want to put there, okay? So let's see. Okay, so that would be my key group. And then from there, I can just go here. And there it is right there. See, you see this age button right here? It just affects the uh, sample quality. I want it to be real uh, kind of nasty, like S900, S950 nasty. <laughs> All right, so that's the basics of that one. I could probably uh, come up with something of an arrangement, but just show you how easy and how quick it is to use the MPC software and just a little bit of the, uh, some of the plugins that I use, but I'll be doing more with IK Multimedia and definitely uh, one of the next videos coming up is I'm just using mostly all contact to uh, create a beat, including the drums and everything. So I actually got that part uh done the last thing i did was was uh separate all the tracks and created a whole uh song with it and i'll show you that process and what happened once i dropped it into i think in that dog i'm gonna use um uad what i do i will speed it up some though Thanks for watching. Make sure you, uh, you know, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Got some prizes coming up. Subscribers, the numbers, it's, it's growing. It's, it's growing. The channel's growing. I do appreciate everybody who watches and share and comment. Uh, comments are very important and also like. It'll bring other people to the page. And like I said, once I get a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away something. And I'm uh, probably coming up with 
maybe a nice uh, recording package, you know, with an interface, a keyboard controller, and a software license to something. I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna be yet, but definitely uh, keep watching. And I'm just gonna do the drawing between uh, all of the subscribers. All right.